welcome back students today we are going to see the topic that is cell so cell is mainly defined as a structural and the main functional unit of the life as all living microorganisms from the simplest microorganism to the highly complex organisms forms or you can say the flowering plants or vertebrates all are made up of cell and this cell is a unit mass of protoplasm or the living substance right so let's start with the cell organelles as we have seen that cell is mainly the structural and functional unit of life so there are various types of cell organelles present inside the cell like you can say the endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex lysosomes mitochondria plastids and vacuoles so one by one we will see the cell organelles now these cell organelles are scattered in the cytoplasm what is cytoplasm cytoplasm is nothing but a semi fluid ground substance or you can say matrix which is present inside the cell okay and they are the small membrane bound structures cell organelles are the membrane bound structures suppose you can see this as you can see here this is a cell this is a cell membrane the green matrix is called as the cytoplasm and these are the cell organelles so there are mainly six types of cell organelles which are endoplasmic reticulum golgi complex lysosomes mitochondria plastids and vacuoles let's start first with the endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum is a large network of membrane bound tubes and sheets and it would look like tubules inside the cell it's just like this and the membrane of the endoplasmic reticulum is similar to the plasma there are basically two types of endoplasmic reticulum as you can see here rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum rough endoplasmic reticulum has these bead like structure which are, which are also called as ribosomes and due to the presence of ribosomes they are called as rough endoplasmic reticulum and due to the absence of the endo, uh, ribosomes they are called as smooth endoplasmic reticulum The endoplasmic reticulum is usually a continuous system con connecting one end of the nuclear membrane. That means, if suppose this is uh, your nucleus and this is your plasma membrane, so it starts like this and it again connects with the plasma membrane of the cell. Again, the providing mechanical, uh, it also provides a mechanical support to the cytoplasmic matrix present inside the cell. Okay. now the lumen of the strand of the endoplasmic reticulum is also continuous with the lumen of the nuclear membrane and the diameter of the lumen is 400 to 700 armstrong glycogen and lipids are inside and stored inside the endoplasmic reticulum so students in this session we have seen just an introduction about the cell and cell organelles in further session we will have a more detailed look regarding other cell organelles thank you